Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Nag here, and I bring to you Mark of the Ninja Episode 9. Now, if everyone remembers, on the last video, we just came straight up from the catacombs, and that was a bit of a venture in itself. But now we're at the inner keep, and we are finally tracking down Karjan and trapping him in his own building. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. You can't let the count get away. Before you try to catch him, cut off his escape routes. And watch out. Looks like his best troops are on patrol. They won't be easy to take down, so do your best to sneak past them. Oh, or they shouldn't be too much of a hassle to take down. First of all, we can take down the guard and his dog. Unlock this vent right here and drag them both down. Make sure to break the lights in this stage if you want a lot of cover because the lightning will give away your position a lot of the time. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to locked vents. Now, locked vents are a little bit of a hassle because the guards will patrol them around and it makes it just a bit tougher to get past certain obstacles. And now we are inside of a building and we have a guard on the right side. So, the way I'm going to do this is break the light or we could go from behind. But just to be safe, I'm going to break the light wait for him to come above the vent and drag him right down now since we dragged him down we're going to continue to the right side but the way I like to do this is go from up here so we can collect our next artifact and now we're going to continue on the right side but it's going to be a little bit different than I would usually do make sure to take out this sniper from up above otherwise the only way you'll get past this is by smoke bombing if you do want to skip the sniper take this guard out right here with our newly upgraded smoke bombs now these newly upgraded smoke bombs allow us to disable guards so they can't do anything while in that smoke and that will come in handy for a later enemy approaching now like I was about to say I'm not going to go to the right this time I'm going to go all the way to the left and climb to the top of the castle so just think of it as going all the way around now the reason I'm doing this is because it's easier to take out all these guards and there's also an artifact coming up now we can easily take out this one who's smoking drag them all the way down and there's gonna be two guards in here if you can see in the upcoming part Hello. we can take this sleeping guard out right easily and drop him down in the vent and continue upward now this is where it's going to get a little bit trickier with the guards in the next room. There's about three in there. There's one walking to the right and one that's going to walk to the left and come through this door. Now you can't really see it just yet, everyone, but there is also a guard in the middle. So we're going to wait for this guard to turn right around so we can get him before he gets through that door. Now if you don't get him before he gets through the door, you run a risk of the guard inside seeing you. So let's take this guy out. And I'm going to gonna throw him down just to be safe. So yeah, we have a guard in there and an artifact. Now there's only one guard up here luckily. So we can take him out without any trouble. Bam. And we're going to continue down. And there's another sniper right here. So be careful when you're trying to jump down. Always use your far sight if you're not sure about it. Now there's going to be another guard coming to walk out the right side of the door but first I'm going to take out the sniper and destroy that light. Now I'm going to wait for this guy to come through the door and hopefully I can just come down on top of him. Now I'm going to make sure not to get spotted by that light because if you are in a weird angle the light can still see you. Sliced and diced. Now we're going to take out the last guard and collect this artifact and be on our way ladies and gentlemen so as always I hope everyone who's watching this is having a great day now there's gonna be an annoying guard right here he might he might possibly yep he spotted that body right there so as soon as we came a little bit closer to the right he started to spot it which is a bit of trouble right now so let's jump over here and I'm gonna use a smoke bomb just to be sure I probably didn't need it but I don't want him to calling and alerting since I am not trying to get alerted right now 
Now we could continue on the right side since there's nothing of importance down here besides the checkpoint and some guards, but I want to be sure that I get all the points that I need. And crap, <laughs> I just got an imperfect kill. That was not intended. Now this is going to be a little bit trickier than I wanted to. So I'm just going to wait for that guard to come up. And as soon as he comes up, I'm just going to use a smoke bomb. I only have one left, which is a little bit annoying, but I will be able to get another smoke bomb in just a second. And yeah, I'm using a lot of these tools at our disposal now because as we come later and later into these stages the enemies are getting a lot smarter than before they'll do a little bit different things like check a little bit more everywhere so let's get this guy and continue down now there's not many more guards i believe there's just two more we'll have to worry about or there may just be one more all right that that works i thought there was two i guess the guy that just came up was from all the way from the bottom, so I kind of got a little bit confused there. So I'm going to wait for him to turn around. All right. Get him from behind. And continue to the left side so I can just show you where this goes. So that door down there was the place we were just at. And we did get another smoke bomb from that checkpoint, so that is going to be somewhat useful until we get to our restocking stations. Now we're going to hit this next checkpoint up here, but before we do that, make sure to go all the way up here to collect another relic. Now we collected this relic right here, we can go all the way down and hit the checkpoint. And we got another smoke bomb, so we have a total of two now, I believe. Now we are in the sealed hallways, I'm going to use the terror dart right here. Now you can use the terror dart anywhere in this level. There's a few places, but right here is going to save you a little bit of trouble from the guards because there's a guard on the right and a guard on the left side of me. So yeah, yeah, right there he's going to kill him. And he's also going to kill the guard right through the door. And I can take him out. So that is three for one, ladies and gentlemen, for one item used. Now, we're just going to continue down here, and soon enough, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to come to our new enemy. That guy looks tough. Even a surprise attack might not bring him down. You'll need to daze him somehow before you move in for the kill. And yes, we do, Aura. So this guy is a bit of trouble if you don't have some upgrades. Otherwise, you can use your punches and daze him then take him down but if you do use the smoke grenade when it's upgraded to this he'll be automatically disabled and we can grab him right now stab him right in the heart and drag him down now we have another optional seal to get right here it's kill three of these elites we already got one and the next two should be easy ladies and gentlemen now you can also use this to electrify the guard right there and bring him out but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not scared of ninjas. I study every martial art from Thailand to Tokyo to Japan. I'm in the MMA Hall of Fame, man. I want them to try to take me down. Come on! Oh, yeah? All right. So we're going to take them down, but not directly since we are ninjas. It seems that everyone thinks that ninjas attack right directly when that is not the case here. So I'm going to attack this chandelier and drop it right down on them. And that is two out of three. Now we're going to get our last guard right down in this basement area right here. And it's going to be a little bit harder since these enemies do have the mask and they also have a little bit more resistance. So I'm just going to get this guy right here. And the tactic that I like to use is drop him down and terrorize everyone. Get inside here because if you don't, the flashlight from the guards below will see you and that can get you alerted. Now there's just one more left and we can get back in here since he is terrified and take him right out. Bam! Alright, so we can collect our first seal of this stage and we will collect our first scroll as well. My violent hunger ropes through the darkness it craves more than I can catch. 
Oh, that does not sound good with the seal. So these marks seem to make Master Azai, that I am assuming he's talking right there, going kind of crazy. And now another thing that you could have done as I just showed for a brief second is use some poison gas to kill the elites, but you will still be alerted by the guards with the gas mask, so it's kind of a double-edged sword unless you take out those guys first. Now, you want to be a little bit careful right here because you'll have to push it all the way to the right and not get hit by that laser. It's not too bad. And we will come to our first checkpoint in our first challenge room, ladies and gentlemen. But before we hit that checkpoint, I want to show you something that I haven't showed before, but I am going to let Aura do the talking for our new upgrade here. With a lighter casing and bamboo spikes, this spike mine will make less noise when it hits the ground. Pretty cool, huh, ladies and gentlemen? I forgot to show that. Now, you can show these on different ones, for example. A mixture of dried nettle and stingray venom has been added to the powder. Anyone caught in this cloud will be left choking and coughing. Choking and coughing. Well, that does not sound good at all, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, she can also tell you the details if you want to know a little bit more in depth about what each item does. So I'll go through that as we progress. But now we are going to get into our challenge room. Alright, the challenge room gone, but still not without their uses. So in this room, the tactic is to drag these guards across the laser so they will deactivate and we'll have to reach to the bottom left. Now a trick that I like to use right here is to throw the two guards and quickly jump to the right. The way I think they meant you to do it is drag the guards down the vents but this way is a little bit quicker and I always like to show different details of how to get stuff in different areas. But now we can disable this power box and that will open the door right down there so we can drag the guard all the way from the right to the left. Now dragging this will open that door on the bottom right and we can continue all the way down. So this is one of the more easier stages of the challenge rooms. They haven't been too bad besides the ones earlier in the level, but <laughs> believe me that will change. That will really change as we get into the late later of the game. So now we're just going to have to place four of these guards down here. I believe you might be able to do it with three, but you won't get the last laser all the way to the left there. And we'll also have to be a little bit careful of where we place them because the lasers can still trigger if they aren't in the correct position. Let me see if I can get this one all the way to the right. All the way to the left. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we only need one more, and I'm somewhat skeptical about that laser right there, so I may have to move one of them just so that laser doesn't trigger. Yeah, let me move this one a little bit to the right right here. And yes, we should be good to go. So all we have to do now is climb through and collect our scroll. Easy, easy. So your fear is that all that he sees. Well that's a bit interesting concept ladies and gentlemen. So maybe he thinks that we are the person that fears. I mean I am assuming that this story isn't really about Tetsuji. It might be about us. So we had to look a little bit more into that later when we collect some more of the stories and I'll explain it a little bit more and clarify it when we get to that point in case you might be a little bit confused. Ladies and gentlemen, we only have to sabotage the helicopter right there. But first of all, I am going to go below and restock on some supplies. So I will see you in one second.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and I have everything stocked up now. So we can grab this guy, drag him down, and as you've seen before I exited out, we are going to have to deal with a couple more elite guards here. Now, I'm not going to take out the one on the top if I can help it, just because I don't want to use all of my resources throughout the stage. And we are getting to a point where I want to use it for the more important parts since we did get the seal earlier but I will just use the spike trap right here if he goes on it which I guess he's not going to go on it come on go on the trap so I can get you thank you very much now we can get up here take this guy out so be very careful about taking him out in the light because the guard can possibly see you now that guard in there is going to be looking all the way to the right and left very fast. So the way I'm going to do this is go down below and come up. Now I'm going to take out that light right there if I can help it. Or I can just wait for him to come down and we can drag him down. Alright, well that was easier than expected. Make sure to collect that relic and turn out the lights. So this upcoming part will be a lot easier to avoid the elite right here. Well, that was very interesting. I didn't think it would be that easy. So I'm just going to hang up here and wait for the guard to go to the left. Then I'm just going to continue to the right. There's no point in taking this guy out. Not everyone needs to die, I suppose. Plus, we get 200 for being undetected. So we also can get that. So let's climb up here and look at what is going on. We can't let Karajan escape again. We can either take out the pilot, or destroy the fuel pump. Either way, he'll be trapped like a rat he is. Indeed. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We could do both. Yes, I'm going to show you both ways to go about this. So first of all, I'm going to go right to the helipad. We're going to continue to the right side, because to the left side, we'll be locked, and we can't access that at the moment. So take out this guy who's just sitting there waiting for his personal death from the ninja and now we're just going to have two elites right here and the main person at the helipad, the mechanic so I'm going to just drop a spike trap right there and get that guy, good thing the elite doesn't turn around or that would be a bit of trouble for us and I'm also going to use the smoke bombs to take out this guy this is why I wanted to go restock and save bit for the important parts now you don't need to take out that light but we are going to take out this guy well before we do finish him ladies and gentlemen this is the way you go for the generator now i'm going to drag this guy with the smoke and his partner won't be able to detect me and I will take him out as well so we're gonna have a lever right there and this lever opens the door on the right side but first of all we're gonna have to drag this guard to block the lasers so we did get the seal from the helicopter objective and we will also get some points for doing this one right here we get 250 for disabling that so that is pretty much worth it if we do want to get on the leaderboards and have a high score but now we're just going to continue to the right side ladies and gentlemen and exit this stage this is going to come a little bit to a close but we're going to have to still deal with some upcoming enemies here I'm not going to bite them off hand I'm just going to try to dodge them if I can make sure the lightning doesn't detect you come in here and go down this vent right here be careful to watch out for the guy below and the two lights I'm gonna destroy these two lights because the guards on the right will be able to detect you if you are seen so a little bit of patience has to be presented right here but it's not too bad if we take this guy out and come all the way down now coming all the way down will get us our last scroll so three out of three, ladies and gentlemen. The Raven Circle. Russia me to my end. Hmm. 
Soon we will join them. Now that does not seem good at all. Level completed. The inner keep is down and out, and we should have nine out of nine seals. But 36,000 total score. That is pretty darn good, ladies and gentlemen. And now we can get some new techniques, attack items, and distraction items. The only ones I'm really going to deal with and show you some voice dialogue from Aura is the Cloth Ninja Tabby over here, so let's get that. I only need, uh, yeah, I only need These three. These tabby, made of silk and the lightest reeds, will reduce the noise you make when you run. So these will reduce the noise that we make when we run. Now there's nothing much else I can get right now. So let's continue on ladies and gentlemen go with path of the ninja smoke bomb and the spike mine for this next part Karajan has barricaded himself in his tower and from what I overheard two separate guards have the keys to get in we need to find both of them so on the next video we had to find both keys and ladies and gentlemen we will finally kill Karajan as that is one of the seals. We also have to be smelled by dogs and also pickpocket two of the guards with the keys without being detected. So ladies and gentlemen, on the next video we are going to finally, finally take out Karajan. And you do not want to miss what's going to happen on the next episode. So until next time, take care and stay classy. Later folks.